What's happening everybody? Today I'm out here at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront Pier. Walking the plank today people and this video today is for all y'all land-based fishermen making it happen on the beach and on the piers. So today we're going to be targeting some spot, maybe some croaker, but I am really feeling a spot catch and cook tonight. I'm actually fishing not at the ideal time tonight because it's kind of like a low tide. So um, we have some kind of like murked up water. Typically on piers, we like that clearer, cleaner water, which comes on an incoming tide. So, hey Mike, do you know when the tide starts moving again? Low tide is at six? Sweet. So I think in about 30 more minutes, the tide will start moving in and we're gonna have low and incoming tide. So hopefully we'll start seeing that clean, clear water. But the name of the game today, today is just catching fish on the pier doing this video for y'all so I hope hopefully we're gonna do a spot catch and cook We've got all of our this is my rods that I've got here hold on I'm coming what are we doing? <laughs> you coming Hollywood oh yeah what? hold on it should come straight out if you just grab it and pull down yeah, it's not yeah. through the Virginia Beach Fishing Pier, the fun factory. I feel like we're going golfing. <laughs> you know? Just out, hanging out outside the pro shop. Yep. Uh, uh. Okay. Well, hold on. Oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this is how we're gonna do this. Uh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay, we're good. Let's see here. Blood worms, fish bites, uh, just some basic pier fishing fun. All right, y'all, let me show y'all what we're working with here. So the first setup we're gonna use, this is a bottom rig right here, high load rig, super easy. So you've got just the top right here. This is just a two-way swivel and at the bottom, it's gonna have your clip to connect your little pyramid sinker to. Uh, so I just tied on my high-low rig uh, to my main line right here, and then I'm gonna be using these super small hooks right here. This is size four. I actually wish they had smaller hooks. When you're fishing for spot and you're just fishing off the pier, you want the smallest hooks that you can get. So we're gonna be using some blood worms. Blood worms and fish bites are like the prime baits for spot and all of your kind of like basic pier fishing species. If you're just brand new to fishing and y'all are down you know, at the pier for the summer vacation or anything like that, blood worms and fish bites are what's gonna get y'all on fish. They're kind of gross, but they get the job done. So just take your blood worm right here. All right, so you don't need a lot on the hook, that's for sure, just a little bit. So that's all you need right there, people. That's it. So. Got our bottom rig set up. Got our blood wormies on here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do on the bottom, you just clip on your pyramid sinker, just like that. Boom, super, super easy. All right, people, now we wait. Come on, there he is. All right, fish on. All right, people, first fish of the night, what do we got? It's a spot. Taking our spot right here. And we're just gonna hook it right through the back. Just like that. All right, let's take this guy out here. Here we go. There we go. Fish on, fish on. This guy feels a little bigger. Dang, dude, the fish bites are doing work. I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> that must be some other guy who looks like me going around, some jabroni making YouTube videos. All right, so when y'all, oh, Mike, your rod's bouncing. Jeff, you too. I was looking at your YouTube video. As soon as you cast it out, you want to make sure that your line is tight so you can feel the bite. If 
your line is loose, see I'm already getting bit right now. Because these blood worms are so effective, they're so bloody. They're expensive, but they work. So as soon as you cast it out, you want to make sure your line's nice and tight. Shiners? Heck to the yeah! Bring it on! We'll take shiners. Get him on. Does he have one? I got oh. him. I got one. There we go. We're doubled up. Oh, that's a trout, is it? Yes. That is a trout. I got a trout. You gotta spot it? Woo. That's a great. Is that a weak fish? 14 for speckled, 12 for the weak for the gray trout. Oh, thanks, brother. Yeah. Thanks, man. All right, people. This is where it's at. Pier fishing. See, everybody helps each other out. Yeah. Really? Yes, you're right, Jeff. Oh, my God. Thanks, man. I do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> New one going crazy. All right. You want to reel it in? Here, you want to reel it in? Want to reel it in? Come over here. Come on. You're going to be on the YouTube. Here you go. Let me get my big camera. <laughs> Alright y'all, this is why fishing on the pier is awesome. There you go. <laughs> is this the biggest fish you caught? Come on this side of me. Come on this side. Watch it be a Cobia. Alright. We might need some help. Oh, it got off. <laughs> we, hey, next one. We're going to give you the next one. There we go. Fish on, fish on. What do we got? What do we got? My big one? All right, people. Another little spot. No. Oh, my word. What the world was that? Get up in here. A round head in the cooler. All right, people, so the real reason why we're doing this catch and cook is because I wanna show y'all how tasty that these spot are and just how fun and easy that it is. If you guys are on vacation and it's kinda like blue crab, you know, like if you get a bushel of crabs, you get a ton of crabs and yeah, you gotta work hard to get just a little bit, but it does taste that good and it's just fun if you have a bunch of friends and family, y'all are just hanging out and you're just cleaning a bunch of these spot and everything, so. Anyways, let me show y'all real quick how to fillet a spot. And just, this is really easy. Believe it or not, even these little spot right here are, these are like little kind of fish bites, just little nuggets, if you will, little fish nuggets. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay, so to fillet your spot, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the blunt side of our knife. So this is the sharp side, we don't wanna touch that, but the blunt side of our knife, make sure you get all those scales off. Because as you can see, we do not wanna be eating these scales. Then what we're going to do, once you remove the scales, is you're going to remove the head from the fish. Now, how you want to remove the head, because you got all the guts right down here, kind of like right behind the gill. So you're going to cut right behind the head, and you've got a lot of good meat is right up here. So you're going to cut right behind the head, and then you're going to cut down to the anal cavity, which is right there. So you're going to, that's going to remove all the guts and everything, just like that. Boom. So this head right here, you can save it for bait. Just want to make sure that you get all the nasties out of there. And then the last thing you're going to do, some people like to remove all the fins. You know, I honestly like to leave them on, but it's a personal preference type thing. But what I like to do is score the meat on both sides, just like that. Make two little slits. This is the very last thing that we're going to do. We're just going to just rinse our filet off. That right there is a perfect spot fillet for eating. You can bread this, season it, everything you want. And then we're gonna just kind of fry it up back in the kitchen. Okay, so the next species of fish that we're gonna be featuring on this simple pier fishing catch and cook is this is a round head right here. These ones do taste really good and I'm gonna cook the whole fish for this one as well. You can fillet these fish because they are a little bigger, but I do like cooking the whole fish. So the first thing that we're gonna do, just like with the spot, is we're gonna scale them. So these fish actually eat pretty much the same thing that your trout and redfish eat. So their meat is gonna taste kinda similar. I'm just gonna cut off the head of the fish.
just like that. Just remove all the entrails and everything. Yeah, it's gross. So just like that. Again, this makes, this right here makes excellent big drum bait. You throw this off the end of a pier, you're gonna catch something. All right, so there it is. So that's pretty much ready to be cooked up. Next, very last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna score the meat on both sides. All right, so that right there is ready to be seasoned up and cooked. This is gonna taste really good. All right, so here we go. Now we're in the kitchen and I'm gonna show y'all how to make these spot taste amazing. And then we've got these round heads. So these are gonna be the two things we're gonna be cooking up. We're gonna go ahead, I've got two pans, one for each species of fish. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some oil, put a healthy amount, not too much, about right there. Then what we're gonna do, this is the fun part. We're gonna season up our fish. We're gonna do a lot of oregano. Next thing's gonna be some garlic salt. You know what? We're gonna do some Old Bay seasoning. Why not? A little fun in the sun, salt water, catch and cook action. Gotta have some pepper. Oh yeah. You hear that? That's the sound of flavor, people. So then I'm gonna take my hoity-toity, really nice olive oil, and I know we're gonna be cooking these, or frying them, but we just want this right here. I feel like this allows the seasonings that we just put in our fish to kind of like almost adhere better to the fish. And you just can't go wrong with olive oil, people. Okay, so here we go. Okay. These are the round heads. And these are gonna go in this one. All right, here we go. Here, fishing, catching, so boom. All right, next species, we got our spot. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in the back pan. These fish do not take that long at all to cook. All right, just like that, about five minutes later, these are our round heads, look at that. So as you can see, cooking this whole fish, this meat just comes right off the bone. Y'all, this is, this is the way to do it. So good. This meat is very, very sweet. One more quick shot. Look at all that meat right there. These are so easy. Nice and crunchy on the outside. White, tender, flaky, moist on the inside. So good. This is our spot. This pan is old and our fish were sticking to the pan. But y'all get the idea. This is amazing. So when you got all your friends and family around the table, you can eat just like they did in the movie 300 like the Greeks and the Mediterraneans did way back in the day, but it tastes the bomb. Y'all, so this is our spot, and look at this meat. All right, so here's our spot, and it just comes right off the bone. Very tender, white, flaky meat. Literally cannot tell if that's a speckled trout or a spot. Look at that. No bones in there. Tastes so good. Very, very, the smaller the fish, typically, like the more sweet that the meat is gonna taste. This is a whole spot right here that we cooked up. So when you eat it, it just comes right off the bone, just like that. So as easy it is to catch these fish, that's how easy it is to make these fish taste amazing. So hopefully y'all like this video. I plan on getting out on the piers a little bit more, actually a lot more, and showing y'all just how fun it is to get out on the piers, catch these fish. This video is for all my land-based anglers and all the people holding it down on the piers, especially y'all on the Virginia Beach Oceanfront Pier. So thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Get up off your butt and go catch yourself some fish, peeps. All right, peace out.